I'm Keith Joel, and you're watching Comic Smack, the special weekly comic book show wherein I give you your fix of all the great comic storylines going on right now. And today, we're taking a closer look at the events of Batman and Robin Eternal number 15, the big rematch, Israel the Angel of Death versus Tim Drake the Red Robin. Who's going to come out alive? Well, let's hop on into the comic and see for ourselves, shall we? So as we dig on into the book, we check in with John Paul Valley, who is still beating himself up post his defeat at the hand of Red Robin in a couple issues back. This dude is completely whacked out of his gore. He hears the voice of God berating him for his failures, and he quite literally fights a bunch of ghosts, which I think are meant to be internal demons, but it might just be holograms. Either way, it's pretty cool. Tim Drake, having escaped Santa Prisca a few issues back, no, they don't exactly explain how he managed to go from an island nation to this desert, but whatever, appears at the St. Dumas-controlled city of Gnosis, which, you know, my uh, ancient Greek uh, might be a little rusty, but I'm pretty sure Gnosis means knowledge. In fact, I think Gnosis is where the word Gnostic actually comes from. Tim wants to get inside the city, and to do that, he's ready to make a trade, the life of the Red Hood Jason Todd. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, he might not be much to look at Jason Todd, but he's a collector's item. He will surely appreciate in value over time. No, 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 this is all a scam worked up by the two former Robins to get inside the city. And man, what a city it is. It's a freaking tech wonderland. They're working on Hadrian Colliders, Black Holes, Everlasting Gobstoppers, all sorts of evil science cult crap. Tim Drake eventually gets brought before the leader of the cult of St. Dumas, St. Dumas himself. Only, that's kind of impossible. How could St. Dumas be alive? That guy was a crusader in the Middle Ages, for crying out loud. Also, this St. Dumas he's brought before? as well. Well, he's a black guy, which is pretty cool, but obviously the title of Saint Dumas is passed on much like the title of Azrael. And speaking of, Saint Dumas is none too happy with Azrael right now. He says for his failure, he will need to fight Tim Drake for the right to keep his title of Angel of Death. And if Tim Drake wins, Tim Drake is going to get that title. Here's the thing, the Dumas guy actually likes Tim Drake a lot. You know, hey, he's smart, he's scientific, he really is the perfect member of this cult. And so a fight ensues. While all this is going on, Red Hood is working his mission, and that is getting closer to the St. Dumas super weapon, which itself is based on the whole fear terror toxin thing that uh, Scarecrow was working on for Mother. It's a terrible virus, almost, that uh, activates your worst fear. And as the comic ends, we see he gets a little too close to it, because Jason Todd's worst fear manifests itself, and his worst fear is, unsurprisingly, the Joker. Batman and Robin Eternal number 15 was another powerhouse issue. What I really like about this story is that, you know, they left it well enough alone long enough to kind of make you miss it. I didn't think they'd go back to it. Not only have they gone back to it, but they've kind of upped its importance, saying, yeah, sure, you know, Jason and Tim, they're off doing their own equally important mission while everyone else fights Mother. Uh, I love the new looking design of the Order of St. Dumas. I think John Paul Valley has been reinvented really well as a character. He's much more sympathetic now than he ever has been before. I like this idea of this human puppet who has kind of been maneuvered and manipulated since birth to, you know, serve this evil cult. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he proves popular enough if we could possibly get a spin-off series with him, and I know I would definitely read about this version of Azrael. Overall, I give this one a much-deserved 8.5 out of 10. Good stuff. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.